A recent wave of high temperatures has some climate scientists concerned. It really does. ABC7 meteorologist Mike Nico here with an explanation. Mike, it is concerning. It really is. And what's most concerning is how many of these record heat waves and where at the opposite ends of the earth that are our air conditioners, the poles. Now, researchers are trying to understand why temperatures would be elevated to both the northern Arctic and southern Antarctic at the same time. Take a high resolution spin around our home planet and you begin to get a feel for the vast distance and geographic differences between the Earth's northern Arctic regions and the southern continent of Antarctica. But in recent days, the polar opposites shared more than glaciers in common. With areas of the Arctic experiencing temperatures 50 degrees above normal, at the same time, weather stations near the South Pole logged readings roughly 70 degrees warmer than average. And the spike is anything but normal, according to Peter Rupnerine of the California Academy of Sciences. And so the warm temperatures first are unusual. The second thing that is unusual is that they're both warm at the same time because they're opposite seasons. Of course, moderates the temperature. Right. Assistant Planetarium Director oh, Bing Kwok cool. zoomed us in for a closer look. Experts say the exact forces at work can be complicated, especially in Antarctica, where historic temperature data is limited. And fluctuations in ocean warming, as well as surface heat, also likely play a part. And we don't know. Is this something that happens every 50, 70 years or so in Antarctica, and so it's not unusual? We really don't know. And so is it tied to global warming? Is it going to begin happening every year? We don't know. In the north, studies have already suggested the Arctic is warming several times the rate of the rest of the planet. What? Teams from NASA JPL have been monitoring the effect on massive ice sheets in areas like Greenland. They say while the recent temperature spikes may be unusual, the melting already being observed raises significant concerns. These are anomalies. We don't know why, why they occur, but we do know that there's warming occurring, uh, especially in the oceans around Antarctica. We know that uh, the atmosphere and uh, the climate is warming generally in the Arctic. The answers to the polar riddle could ultimately have direct implications to the Bay Area. The melting of ice sheets in the Arctic and potentially Antarctica is already considered a major risk factor in significant sea level rise and one of the long-term risks of rising temperatures. And there's another measurement just in from NASA. Researchers say the area covered by ice in the Arctic this year was the 10th lowest on record. In fact, we're talking about taking ships from one side of the world to the other world and cutting costs by going through there, but we'd rather probably have the ice.